Hello and welcome to another EU4 Europa expanded video. Today's nation is Shirvan. It's a very small 26 development nation in the Persian region. The nice thing about it is that in this mod it has a unique mission tree and this region has some unique formables. So let's begin and check it out. Here we are, we are greeted with this event. I will go for the aggressive expansion scholar. Now let's go over to our states, summon the diet. And sure, I will go for the upgrade Shirvan option. Let's grant plus one mana points to each of the states, religious diplomats, and also establish religious schools. The Amirs will grant supremacy over the crown, indebted to the merchant guild loans for merchant guilds and bookkeeping. And to Dimi, I will grant some religious unity and reform progress growth. Now we can seize lands and we have 8% crown lands at the start. Let's get our government interaction. I will go for the core creation cost. It is time to get some advisors. We need an artist and this stability cost modifier guy is perfect for us. And we could take a mill advisor but unfortunately I don't have any good ones so I will try to reroll ones. Let's go ahead and complete this first mission Azerbaijani artist. Yearly prestige for 15 years. Now I really don't want to have this heir on my throne. Very bad stats. Let's get rid of him. And it must be some kind of a feature in this mod but my ruler has two industrious traits so 20% goods produced modifier now that's interesting and since we have lost so much prestige let's restore some of it by taking patronage of the arts now we can get some additional troops let's recruit the free company i will definitely need protection versus this annoying karakayunlu so what i can do is go ahead and royal marry a gem and we will be able to get this alliance here we go, army is recruited and we can complete the mission assemble an army. We get some permaclaims and a general with 50 tradition. Let's see how good he is. He's not bad, no siege unfortunately, but 4 shock is definitely nice to have. Unfortunately still didn't get a good mill advisor, I'll try one more time. Okay, it's the 12th of December and this means we can get this alliance and now we can start our first war. Biapas has no alliances, RW only has one. So I think I will go for Biapas because I have perma claims on these guys. So let's select them as a rival. Let's also go for something like Gazimuk and Ardabil. And let's start this war right now. Come here, bro. Come here. Get wrecked, son. We can also click the announcement of sect practices and we can move towards legalism. Now with the remaining diplomat, what I can do is... Oh, yeah, sure. Let's get royal marriage with the Ottomans. And we can probably get this alliance after this war. I'll just get the manpower advisor. Would love to step up but it costs so much because of our religious unity that is super low. So yeah, I won't be doing that. Very quick fort. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's full annex them. I'll get another general. Oh man, still no siege. That's annoying. But at least we can start a new war now. Let's attack Ardabil and Gilan. Take care of Gilan first. Here we go. Oh man, he's not dead. I have to follow him. Okay, it's over for him. And this guy is attacking me, but he's a dying. So there's that. Finish them, guys. Take out the trash. And now we can basically siege down both of them at once. Let's also start getting a claim on Georgia, because we do not have permaclaims in this upper area. And we can get one on Mazanderan, that would be nice. I'm losing quite a lot of money, but I think I can still afford a Diplo Advisor. I would love to have the Spy Network Construction one. And I will even speed up the claim by getting this policy Spy Network Construction for the trade. Beautiful, this fort is down. So let's take the province. Now we can get this claim. And just because he does not have any alliances, I will start this war right now. Use this opportunity. And I will finish this war very quickly, so then I will merge my armies and I'll be able to defeat him. And actually, I think I will get one more unit to help me out. Cool, decent air. Claim on Georgia done. I will probably be fighting Karakayunlu not too far away from now, so I'll start building Spy Network on them. And this way we can get some additional siege ability versus them. Okay, finally we got the fort. Ardabil is ours. Mission completed, Shirvani submission, trade power plus 25 in Persia. That's nice. Sir, sir, where are you going? You really attacking me here? Let's sortie for some additional troops. And he's gonna get wiped. Perfect. Everything's going according to plan so far. Ajam is not very happy about our expansion, so I will improve relations with them. I don't want to lose this alliance. And actually we can get rid of the trade policy right now. 
Warriors do not read books, that's not true, man. Plus 10% administrative and diplo technology cost, oh man. But it's only for 5 years, I probably wouldn't increase my technology in 5 years anyways. Come on, get this fort, I need to destroy the rebels. Nice, it actually fell at 14%, I can't believe that. And 10 prestige. And here is our full annexation, beautiful. We can concentrate this a little bit, let's score it. And complete another mission, Palace of Sherwan, Prestige Decay and Yearly Legitimacy until the end of the game. Agenda was also completed because we stole that development. And we have 19% crownlands which is not too bad at all, considering we only had 8%. Here is our alliance with the Ottomans secured. We are completely safe now, no one can do anything to us. And we can go ahead and invite this admin technology cost scholar, he will be quite useful. I will get Georgia and Mushasha as my new rivals and I think it's time to repay the loans because there are 13 ducat loans we can take 40 ducat loans now and of course get rid of the 4% ones and we're left with 1% loans and a lot of money so we can sustain our advisors and our large army I will get one more unit and I think I will be declaring on Gazimuk. these guys only have his and Kaifa as an ally so it's basically free real estate for us a Kayun wants an alliance? I don't think so, buddy. I don't need you at all. Yeah, let's start the war now. And I don't want to declare, I mean, walk into mountains, so I'll try to bait him out. Maybe he will come back to Dagestan. And he's indeed moving, so we can catch him. He's locked now. Good, he is dead for sure. Yep. 50 admin points. Oh man, that is amazing. And of course, a full stack wipe. I saw that his and Kaipa is at a war, I just glanced and oh my goodness, they're fighting us, Karakayunlu, Akayunlu, Mamluks and Great Horde, that's unbelievable, there's no way they would survive this. And we got the unconditional surrender, another full annexation, pour it up, damn we're getting strong now. Georgia is a overlord of Imereti. It's kind of annoying because of course they have all these cores and normally you want to vassalize Georgia but I don't know how we will do this this time. And what we can do right now is summon the diet once more. Base production, seize lands, 25% crown lands, very respectable. Let's start decreasing autonomy as well. Yeah, to be honest, Quick War versus Circassia seems pretty decent. They only have Theodoro as an alliance so it's a no-brainer I think. Come here boy, come here. Get destroyed. Please give me mill access Crimea. Thank you very much. Now we can move here. Probably need to move like this. Because this guy keeps blockading. Oh nice. Production efficiency. Local unrest reduction. Quick insult to Georgia to get above 50 power projection. And get another one monthly mana point for each of the sources. I think it's time to get some more mercs. Let's get this group. Unfortunately they don't have good generals. But what can you do? I need to destroy the rebels, they're wrecking my country right now. And to be honest, I don't really care about Theodoro, I will just take this unconditional surrender from Circassia, thank you very much. Plus one stability, awesome, awesome, awesome. And government reform progress loss, expected. Okay, I still need to get a bit stronger to declare on Karakayunlu, so since I have some free time, I can declare a war on Georgia, Koblige and Trebizond. Let's go boys, let's go. Oh, it's rest in peace, Timurids, they ceded lots of promises to Afghanistan. Okay, that's nice to see. I think I will invite a gem to help me out here, because Trebizond has some troops, Emirati has some, it's a bit tough. And we can always get more favors with a gem, it's no big deal. Take these boys out for me, dog. Very interesting timing, a jam declared war on Timurids. I hope they will still help me out here. Polite to India. Okay, so the Timurids are basically gone. They have like three, pro four provinces over here. And their vassals control all of the lands now. I think we could go for a claim on Khorasan. They will probably lose some of these alliances in the coming years. They actually just lost their alliances as I was speaking. So hopefully we can get this claim fast and we can expand over here. Here's our level 4 military technology. Okay, so a jam is really getting destroyed right now, man. Not looking good for them. We now have over 50 prestige and this means another mission completed. Monthly splendor plus 3. Our spies inform us that Karakayunlu is considering attacking Imereti. Okay, we need to occupy these provinces right now. Die, son. 
quickly, quickly, quickly go, guys. Yeah, they did declare. And we have everything. So they're screwed, man. Okay, look at that. Our double has just spawned. And we have claims on these guys. And Timurids is not joining. Man, that is free real estate. Thank you so much. I'll definitely take that. This war right here is done. Full annexation. And yeah, we take it. I won't core any of these provinces right now. What I'm going to do is just try and concentrate some development. And keep it like this. I don't think I want to have this alliance with Ajam anymore. I'll just break it. They're useless. Siege ability. Yeah, let's go, boy. Super quick war. Super quick. And now what we can do since the war is over. Go ahead and release a vassal. And let's release Georgia. Don't need to core any of these provinces that I got. And they have a couple more cores that we can take later on. So that is amazing. Most importantly, they are super loyal. They don't have any negative opinion modifiers. And to be honest, I would like some money right now. So I will sell titles, seize lands. Let's get rid of the loans. 74. Okay, I probably won't exchange the loans right now. I'll just get rid of the 4% ones. My new rival will be a jump. Trade guilds and fraternities. We can get one base production in Tabaristan area. I wonder if this will upgrade all of the four provinces. So this one has four, four, three. Let's see. Four. Oh my god, it did. So four base production. Oh my god, that's insane event. Yeah, our ruler now died. We will have this regency for a couple of years. And let's get strength on noble privileges now. First stage ability. Let's go for aggressive expansion impact. Soon my regency will be over and also the truce with a jam, so that will be my next war. Would have loved to declare on Karakayunlu, but they are a bit too strong and Ottomans are not joining. They are very deep into the loans. And here we go, the regency is done. We have a decent air again. Denouncement of sect practices. Let's seize the lands one more time as well. Yeah, just a little bit of rebellions. Still no good advisor. Maybe I will try to get rid of both of these guys now. No luck, man. But anyways, let's start up this war. Boom, boy. Finally, a discipline advisor is available. Here's our level 5 military as well. Let's get the new units before engaging in the battles. Dual infantry. And what can I say? These boys are completely dead. They don't want to stay on my mountains. Come here, bro. Come here. Okay, so Aka Yunlu is down. Let's take the government interaction again. Some manpower, core creation cost. And we can stomp Nogai. Come here, boy. Get destroyed. We got their capital very quickly and we can white piece them. Which means our war with Ajam is basically completed as well. Full annexation already. Great, 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 great. Mega expansion over here. Another mission completed, Southern Trust. Discipline plus 5% for 20 years. Couple new claims on this guy. And even on this guy. I want to quickly declare on Isfahan because they have no alliances. We can take these provinces quickly for ourselves. Oh, nice. Local defensiveness until the end of the game. Beautiful, man. Although it is a Trilands fort. Not too great, but still something. Okay, I appreciate the provinces. Here we go, no collision. And at this point I really want to start developing my capital to spawn the renaissance. So I will sell titles, even some on the diet. Sure, we can get the marketplace. Let's get the edict over here. I'm gonna try and re-roll a couple times these advisors. Maybe we can get a development cost advisor. Nah, so we did not get that advisor. Ottomans are actually inviting us into a war. And I want to seize the lands before this, so I will rush to develop this. We already expanded infrastructure, so we can start investing our mill points. Expand once more. And let's keep investing here. We basically have it already. Just one more development left. I won't spend the admin points. I'll just get it later on. Let's seize. And of course, let's join to help out Ottomans. Burgundy, Genoa. Luca and some other nations. Probably we don't ha even have to do anything. I'll just leave it up to the Ottomans. And here we go. We can spawn the Renaissance now. It would cost 440 ducats to embrace. Holy crap, Karakayunlu is powerful. Come on, Ottomans. Finish this war. Get it back on track. And let's finally declare on Karakayunlu. I cannot do it myself. They're just a bit too strong right now. 
the AI formed Kirka Yunlu. Very impressive to see. But okay, I improved the relations with the Mamluks as well, so I'm gonna get that alliance. Maybe if we get some favors, we can invite them. They also have like a thousand in the loans, so it's a, a bit annoying and difficult to invite anyone into a war versus Kirka Yunlu. I've lost like so much government reform progress already from these events. It sucks so much. Alright, Ottomans have finished the war. They're still not joining. 1.5k in debt. Oh my god, man. These guys are useless. I honestly think I am too tired of waiting for my allies to actually do something. Screw it, man. Let's spawn these rebels, take care of that. And let's take the matters into our own hands. I will be getting a few more loans. And I'm gonna embrace the renaissance. Upgrade all of my technologies. We can complete this mission for additional 5 innovativeness. For the first idea group I will actually go with the offensive ideas. Let's select our new horses. He's also level 6, okay, impressive. Okay, let's summon the diet. Sell titles, seize lands. We got some money so this will sustain us during the war. I'm going for it. Let's declare, quickly get this fort. Hopefully it won't take too long to get Khorasan out of this war. Also need to get rid of Kerman. And after that it will basically be one versus one. Would like to get another general to siege. Okay, that's fine. That is actually not too bad at all. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Come back here. Come back here. Where are you going, bro? That's right. Nice, pretty quick fort. Love that. Continue here. Kerman is out. Perfect. And here we go, Coruscant is also out, so that was insanely quick. Now we can get back over here. He's doing some nasty stuff in Georgia. Temporarily I'll get one more mercenary company. Okay, it's time to punish this fool. Let's get some reinforcements, boom. He's coming here, we reinforce, and we got him. Let's rush for his capital at this point. And I will need to constantly reduce my war exhaustion. Give us all your ganja, bro. Now, okay, he's moving here. But we got the capital, nice. Punish him! Okay, we can get some autonomy, that's fine. He's dead, bro, he's dead. Oh yeah, let's go. 100 mil power and 10 army tradition. Very high army tradition at this point. Here we go, our first offensive idea. It's awesome that he's keeping 16k units over here because after I get this fort I can go and snipe this army. I will disband one of the mercenaries now. It's way too expensive to upkeep all of these units. No, he's unsieging Ganja. Come on man, just fall. Nice, nice, nice. We got it. Quickly go over here. Yep, rum boy. Yes, yes, yes. Go in the wrong direction. Meanwhile, I kill this buddy. Come here, come here, sortie from siege. Nice, another nice battle. Oh my god, he has six shock. Can we get... Actually, four shock is not too bad on this guy. I mean, I, I think we should be able to win this, right? 28k. Yeah, yeah, we're good, nice. Let's consolidate our normal units because we're out of manpower. Okay, sweet. Can we get rid of this guy? I hope they can't reinforce on time. Really don't want to lose this fort. I think we should be good. Yes, we got here on time. Great. And now we can wipe this buddy over here. Nice. Third age ability. Let's go for combat bonus. Alright. If we can stop this siege, the war would be probably over. Lost a fort to rebels. That's not a problem. Please don't get it at 21. Oh, he's actually trying to stop. Oh no, that's not good. Nah, not good at all. But if we win, yes, we won. And he retreated, so it's down to 7% now. We will get one morale tick if we wait a little bit. No, actually, we will get a morale tick, so we can go right now. Yes. Here we go. He's done. He's done, man. Look at that. 13k units, no manpower. He's done, man. Thanks for additional 15%. Hmm, I don't think I need it. I'll take the money. Another government reform. I like representatives of the crown the most. He has no chill, this guy. Still doesn't want to surrender. And here we go, 96% war score. There is a chance that he will unsiege this fort at 
So it is time to finish this war. We are very deep into the loans. 22 loans at this moment. So there's no way we can continue this. And honestly something like this seems like a good enough peace deal. Let's take it. Boom. We can return this province to Georgia, but this way we would lose 10 prestige. So rather than that, let's go over here, Grand Province, and let's give this province to them. Now we can complete this mission, 10% technology cost reduction and 5 innovativeness. And next we can click this national decision, Unite Azerbaijani Cities. Country name will change to Azerbaijan, new traditions and ambitions and new missions. And now we have a proper mission tree. Look at that. Okay, let's concentrate a little bit of development. And let's release a new vassal. We have Iraq over here and Baghdad. The difference is that they have different cores. Baghdad has all of these cores over here. So six provinces that we do not currently have. And Iraq, on the other hand, nine provinces that we currently don't have. So yeah, we're going to release Iraq for sure. Let's go. Now the rest of the provinces I want to core myself and we can upgrade Diplo technology and after a month or two we can upgrade admin as well. Now about the loans, yeah we can take one more and probably one more and then repay the 1% ones, fix this at least a tiny bit. We won't be able to get rid of all of them but at least a good portion. First of all these 77 ducat loans and next the 100s. Okay, we're left with 17. We will have to work on that. Bro, Ottomans have been nothing but a pain in the ass this game. They keep inviting us into the, these dumb wars. Poland, Lithuania. Oh, come on, man. I still want to have this alliance just to protect me from the wars that I don't want to have in case I would lose my army or something like that. So I will join, but it really annoys me. And at this point, we are one of the great powers. There we go. Level 6 admin. Beautiful. And we can get the second offensive idea as well. Yeah, it's over for Kirka Yunlu. Mamluks is taking the opportunity to declare on them. And yeah, right, we have these new Caucasian ideas at this moment. National manpower modifier, attrition for enemies, max promoted cultures, mercenary stuff, land leader maneuver, yearly prestige, yearly legitimacy, yearly army tradition, and cavalry combat ability. Honestly, pretty bad ideas in general there are definitely not enough military modifiers it's something that could maybe work with defensive ideas together but yeah i'm not a big fan of those i might reform into another nation but of course we still have to explore this mission tree maybe there's something good over here like i see that we can upgrade our rank to empire get another max promoted culture even a monthly splendor until the end of the game map or recovery speed okay there there is some good stuff in this mission tree plus one stability thank you and you Lithuanians, get out of here, man. It looks like we can finish off Luristan. Let's go for that. Ardalan and Luristan. Here we go. Luristan is ours now. I think there's way too many forts in this area. I will delete this one. And the Mamluks, I mean, uh, Ottomans can be a bit mad, but I will actually get the white piece from this war. I don't want to participate in it anymore. It's just hurting me because they keep occupying my province in Circassia. We have lots of favors so we can get some trust without any problems. Yeah, let's exchange some right now. 10 additional trust, sure. Now, okay, Ardalan is occupied by me, but I can wait a little bit. They're occupying provinces from Kirka Yunlu, and there is a possibility they, that they will take some of these provinces and I can take them back from them. Level seven, Devil Technology. Okay, well, that's interesting. Out of all provinces, Ardalan got this one. I mean, sure, I'll take it. It just goes to Iraq, so that's not too bad, I guess. There is some rebels there, and I won't really be able to remove them, though. But to be honest, what I could do is reset my truce with Kirka Yunlu. Yeah, first of all, let's seize the lands. Let's get some new rivals. Might as well get, like, Crimea and even Poland. And at this point we can declare on Khorasan, Nogai and Kirka Yunlu are joining, so yeah, we can fight these guys. Let's just occupy Kirka Yunlu's capital real quick and get a white piece with them. And at the same time, of course, we can get rid of these rebels right here. And let's take level 7 military now, get some new mercs, plus one stab, not mad at that. Here we go, there is our super quick piece with Kirka Yunlu, I actually won't take their money. Want to keep this short truce of five years? Whoa, Nogai, chill, bro. 
the hell are you doing over here? Super quick white piece with Nogai. There we go. Even though this province has 25% local defensiveness, it's still drylands. I don't think I really need this fort over here. It costs a lot to upkeep all of these forts. The war is done, here's what I'm taking. Basically, I'm leaving them with one province that hopefully Transoxiana will just take. I think that is definitely good enough. Can we concentrate? Nope, there's nothing to concentrate. So let's score it. Costs a lot of points, but it's worth it, of course. My next target will be definitely Kirkayunlu after one more year. And now let's get the third offensive idea, as well as rival Transoxiana. Let's invest some of the points in this province. And to complete this mission, I will need to invest in Shamaki as well. So I just need one development over here. And there we have it. Which means we get local defensiveness 25% for 25 years and our ruler gets plus one military point. And after that, we are ready to complete another mission for 2% missionary strength. So we can actually start converting stuff now. It's been a while since we have converted anything. What would be awesome is to get a missionary strength advisor as well. And I will sell a bit more titles, seize the lands. I definitely need the cash because I still have a lot of loans. Need to start fixing it bit by bit. No luck with the advisors. Okay, now that's a Giga Chat General. What's our army tradition? 74, okay. Do I see a Basra here with no allies? Um, I don't think I see it. Here, Kayunlu, it's over, bro. Surrender. And it seems that uh, Farce is going for these provinces over here. So maybe we can snipe some of these. Thank you, Basra. Appreciate it. Now, does Iraq need any of these provinces? I don't think they do. Because, yeah, we have, of course, Iraq as our vassal and they have their own mission tree. And we can get some really good bonuses from it, like this general with one plus shock some development and stability and even some temporary bonuses like this one so yeah we can navigate two mission trees at once this guy man yes mom looks are not joining if we are declaring on farce i pretty much have to do this otherwise they will stay in this war and we don't know when they will peace out so it will be very difficult to take the provinces from Kirkayun. so if i declare of course i can annex farce and not worry about these provinces so let's go this is perfect. Let's unseach this province right here. And we can probably wipe them in Trebizond. Minus 35. Okay. They are running now. But I got nowhere to run. I think we can catch them. Yeah, we got them. Let's go. Wiped. I will barrage this province. And here we go. We have everything. This is gonna be my peace deal. Let's go. Now we can complete Azerbaijan United, lots of perma claims. Conquer Armenia, 10% morale of armies, again more perma claims. Conquer Mazandaran, trade efficiency. Georgia, oh my goodness, streak of missions. And now if we want to get until the end of the game yearly prestige and years of separatism minus 5, we just need this one province from Great Horde. Here we go, we are completing Iraq's missions. Here's our amazing general. Yeah, our generals are crazy right now. Don't mind me, just doing a quick little full annexation of Fars. Northern Persia mission completed. And at this point we can even form Persia, but I want to continue this mission tree. So I don't think that I will be forming Persia in this video. 1.36 is coming, so we will definitely play Persia, probably as Ardabil. I will begin annexing my vassals now. Lithuania wants us to support their independence, the hell? Um, nah, don't wanna participate in that. Yeah, yeah, take your government reform progress. Okay, I wonder if we can complete this mission for Georgia. Tbilisi needs 13 development and this will increase the center of trade level by 1. It's currently level 1, so if we invest some Diplo points, grab one quick loan, upgrade this. Let's see after they complete if this will actually be level 3 now. It is! Okay, so that's awesome. Now if we wanted to try hard really, what we could also do is grant all of these provinces, move our capital somewhere else, and then we could get on the province of Shirwan 20% local trade power. But this would cost a lot of admin points to do, so I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, lots of rebels are spawning now, so I have some groups to deal with. 
I'll take a year or maybe two to deal with the rebels just to be secure and then I'll start another war. Of course we can continue upgrading our offensive ideas, fourth one now. The next one will be amazing, 20% siege ability. And at this point we're making a very good amount of money, collecting 15 ducats in Persia trade node. And we can of course upgrade our centers of trade. Just after getting that one center, it increased so much. Okay, so I wanted to deal with the rebels, but I've noticed that Uzbek is not actually joining versus Great Horde. It's 32 for 32, so hopefully they're, they're not joining. But I'm gonna take this opportunity and declare. Yeah, they did not join, so this is actually really, really good for us. I will probably just get some mercenaries if rebels pop. We have Zoroastrian Zealots here. Hey, I might actually use them. Because of course, Shirvan has this insane monument that can only be upgraded if you're Zoroastrian and it grants 10% discipline, culture conversion cost, land fire damage and fire damage received minus 10%. Maybe we can try and convert to Zoroastrian. Transoxiana has just formed the Timurids. Good job, good job. Yeah, I need mercs. I definitely need mercs. Because there are some other rebels and they are a threat to those. Let's get the Tabaristan company over here. You guys gotta go. Y'all gotta go, man. Jackals, vultures. Oh my goodness. I will actually in this moment take 500 ducats rather than the 50 diplo. Because that allows us to repay even more loans. And we are basically down to 9 loans. I will keep some money to sustain myself in case. This siege took 59 days, man. That's what I like to see. Can we scorch here? Oh my god. No. Go, boys. Okay, we survived. That's fine. Okay, sweet. We can peace out Nogai. 20% siege ability. Let's go. So I want to take their level 2 center of trade. And my peace deal is going to look something like this. I'm most interested in their money. And of course, the province of Terek to complete my mission. The collision is minimal. I don't care about that. Here we go. Let's complete this mission. Yearly prestige. Years of separatism. Very nice. And since we have so much money, we can start upgrading more centers of trade. I'll even upgrade the one in Baghdad. Repay one of the loans. Actually, I'll repay another one as well. We are rich, boy. Keep converting, bro. Keep converting. And I'll debase currency as well and use the Muslim Pite interaction as I don't really have any technologies that I want to upgrade right now. This means one more loan repaid. Oh, come on. The rebels are suiciding. I have to move away from here. Okay, he's going that direction, so I'll disable this fort. I guess I can disable the forts around here as well as I can protect them just in case some other rebels spawn. Let's get the level 2 Diplo Advisor to make our annexation of the vessels a little bit quicker. Yep, move towards my capital. Go, boy. Government interaction will give us additional 7000 manpower. Very good. Mamluks have denounced us. Oh, these jackals abusing their power. Okay, a second group of Zoroastrian zealots has spawned. This means faster progress. Let's go. It's also time to take the immerse integration policy as we are nearly finishing to annex Iraq. Alright, we have finished offensive ideas, 5% discipline and morale recovery speed. And we can also get level 7 admin, which means another idea group. And for the second idea group, I will go for espionage ideas as they work wonders with offensive together. Now next, I need to unstate one province and then I can get my golden age. And it's this one. So, okay, let's unstate this. Here we go, next month we can start our golden age. And as I see my ruler died, okay, that's fine. Here we go, start golden era. We have annexed Iraq. Lots of stuff going on. Holy crap, we're huge. And of course, since we took the golden era, we have a 10% discount for ideas and we can get two of those. 20% aggressive expansion impact reduction and we unlocked land leader maneuver. Yeah, go on my capital, good job. Ottomans wants us to put their air on our throne. I mean, it's a free air. We don't have one right now. We can take it. You for free. Not too bad. For the next government reform, I will go with admin technology cost and religious unity. This one's very useful for me. It's now age of reformation. Okay, we have lost our capital to the Zoroastrian rebels. And this means that we can now accept this new religion. We will lose 10% of crown lands, but it's still an awesome change for sure. So let's click accept the demands and boom, we are now Zoroastrian. 
Not only we have access to this amazing monument now, but we also have the decision to rekindle the royal fires, we just need one province from the Timurids, and this would give us 20% manpower in true faith provinces, yearly prestige and legitimacy until the end, end of the game. Totally amazing. And we also need to change our first government reform, so I'll pick the vassal one. Now let's pick a blessing, I will go with missionary strength. I need to convert my provinces. And most importantly, I need to convert Laristan and Sabzevar because I control them and I can get some more blessings by doing so. So let's get the Enforce Religious Unity and let's start converting this. And next what we can do is seize some lands, 28% crown lands. And we did not get rebels because we took the tier 4 government reform, which means seizing lands from clergy does not trigger these rebels anymore. Now since we are doing so well, we have some free time, we can declare a war on Kirka Yunlu and possibly fully annex them. So let's go for it. Oh yeah, not to even mention, the rebels are now our troops. So basically I don't even need these mercenaries anymore, I will just disband them after the war. Actually I can disband it right now, don't need them. Much appreciated Kirka Yunlu. Trust West mission completed. And we have completed a good part of the missions I would say already. Oh wow, Mamluks have formed Egypt so quickly. I didn't know they can form it so quickly in this mod. Oh my goodness, it looks glorious. Georgia is ours now. Sweet. Amazing name placement. And with that note, I will finish the campaign right here. We are currently the third greatest power. We need colonialism and after embracing it, we would be the first one. We have changed our religion to Zoroastrian. We have three of those holy sites. And we are very close to rekindling the royal fires. We just need one more province from the Timurids. Who are not that strong at all, 32k units. We have Ottomans as our ally and a huge Egypt here. Of course, whenever we want, we could use the Ottomans to destroy Egypt, which they are doing right now themselves. We could also start expanding into Europe through Great Horde and Lithuania, or consolidate our lands around the Caspian Sea through Nogai and Timurids. But I feel like we have already done quite a lot of expansion in this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.